Now I don't know if this is actually Easter food or not, but I'm going to assume it is. Okay? Because I've not seen this most of the year, so I'm going to assume this is Easter food, okay? And um, I've got a pack here of six packets of bunny bites, okay? Now these are sort of like crisps, but they're not. They're like... Um, and these sort of puff type crisps, but crisps isn't really the right word, you know, sort of potato snack, okay? And on the back it says original flavour potato, tapioca, and May snacks, okay? Now this is within date, so it's currently dated the 23rd of July 22. It is currently the 17th of April, it is Easter Sunday. So I'm eating these on Easter Sunday. I'm going to assume this is um, Easter food because it is a bunny and um, rabbits and bunnies are associated with um, Easter here. It says it's suitable for vegans. And they obviously don't like recycling because it says don't recycle. Obviously it means don't recycle this bag, but there you go. Why? I've no idea, but there you go. So now... And we're looking at the ingredients. It says it consists of dried potato, sunflower oil, tapioca starch, may starch, Modified potato starch, sugar, maltodextrin, that's probably pronounced wrongly, salt, flavouring, yeast extract, citric acid, colour, brackets, paprika extract, brackets. And it claims it's suitable for vegans. I think I showed it before, but I'm just going to show it again in case you didn't see it the first time. So it's got a, a V symbol there, and it says suitable for vegans. Okay. Um, and it's set, what, six packs of 19 grams. Just going to show you the front again. And now I'm going to open it up. Now I've never tried these before, okay, so to be honest, I may just be. Okay, and here's the problem the actual one of the packets of crisps is actually stuck directly. To the outside wrapper. You have to like peel it off. It, that was basically a manufacturing fault, but there you go. And here you have a smaller packet in Britain. We tend to have like packs of six or twelve inside and out, uh, you know, of crisps this size, inside bags this size. I believe in America you just tend to have a big bag and just have lots of crisps and you don't have bags within a bag. Okay. And again on the back for some reason it says contains rapeseed oil. So again out their way to make it clear that it contains rapeseed oil. Okay. Now maybe some people are allergic to rapeseed oil. I don't know. Oh it's also got it on here as well. Maybe some people have a rapeseed oil allergy. I do not know. I don't believe I have any allergies. Um, the only thing I know that I'm allergic to is horses. That's it. But that's never a matter. And yes, I'm being serious, really. Um, so. Okay, not quite what I was expecting at all. I thought it would be... This is not what I was expecting at all, truthfully. I thought um, there'd be like quavers or something, but they're actually... It's like a mask, so... Um, yes, yeah, so you've got like the ears and the top. And the eyes, and it's difficult to find, you know, because there's, you know, they've, um, the ears look okay, but the face on each of them looks, tends to look a bit strange. I've tried to do it where you've got the eyes here, 
and the nose and the mouth but to be honest they haven't really done a very good job of the mouth or the nose so much in my opinion so you look you've got the eyes but the nose and the mouth doesn't look so good so I think they've had difficulty sort of making them to look like a bunny I know that this is a supermarket owned brand so I can't expect it to them to have done such a fantastic job on these events to look like I mean I just expected they would have done a better job of the mouth and the nose and things but there you go it is what it is um, I've tried to get many of them at random so to show you that you know, it's difficult to get any that perfect but there you go they've sort of tried but the mouth and nose needs a lot to be desired I think the, two, the, dots, the holes are too small in my opinion but maybe that's what they wanted um, but they've generally done a good job on a reasonable job on the ears of the bunny okay so this is the bunny what's why I was surprised because I thought looking at this this would be quite thick but actually it's not if you look on the back it's curved inward so it's almost like a mask if you like it's sort of the shape of a mask where it's curved on the front but at the back it's you know it's like a mask if you like um, I thought it would be solid and quite go back a lot I thought it would be more something like this and I put two of them together to be honest, I know this is exaggerated for what I intended, but I thought it'd be something like that, you know. But obviously, all filled. I thought it'd be something like that, but it isn't. Okay. So anyway, they actually they are like crisps in many ways. Um, but you know they all like quavers. Okay. Um. They claim they're slightly salted. But to me, they taste very salted. Okay, it tastes to me like um, those fluffy bunny shaped snacks with a little bit of crunch. So, for me, they are very salty. Maybe it's because they're claiming it's tapioca flavoured. I don't know. But it, it tastes like you're eating a lot of sea salt. I mean, they to me even more salty than ready salty crisps. You know, I mean, I have normal ready salty crisps elsewhere, and they taste very similar to that. But these taste even saltier than the ready salty crisps, in my opinion. Yet they're claiming these are only slightly salty. It's that strange. Um, it could be me, and it, maybe because I don't appreciate the tapioca taste. I have. I have tapioca in a tin, you know, um, freshly made, and just reheated in a tin, you know. So, I mean, this is a supermarket owned brand, so you probably couldn't quite expect it to taste quite as good as like, um, professional brand like Walkers for example and um, to me these are like ready salted flavoured um, inferior versions of quavers but with you know a, a shape so I can appreciate people buying it for the bunny gimmick, but to be honest, I don't think maybe it's just me, but I don't think you know. I think they're slightly more expensive as well, but I can't remember now. I got them about a few weeks ago, you know, ready for to be eaten today. So. Yeah, this one's got more of a mouth, but it's also got a broken 
Vậy sang. All of these are designed to look exactly the same. Sometimes they're broken in the packet. But they're all designed to look exactly the same. So there's no variety in this package in terms of shapes. Sometimes they're broken. So here, for example, you don't have the bunny ears because that had broken off. I didn't break this. It was already broken in the packet. Um... I don't know what else I can do really. It seems very, it comes across as very, very salty, so if you like salt a lot, you'll be happy. If you um, don't like salt a lot, you'll be fooled by their slightly salted um, claim. In my opinion. I mean, maybe it's because I'm tasting maize and I think it's salt. I don't know. I don't know what maize tastes like. And um, I've probably had it, but not really known. I'm also giving this some waffle. I think this is probably about the history of um, Tesco's itself. I realise you can't read that very well. So I'm going to read it for you. Alright, obviously it's also on, we've got the same marketing blurb on here, so. You probably can't read it very well, but I'm going to do it for you. Our snack expert started as a small family owned business in 1956. Over the years, they perfected crisps and other traditional snacks. Today they draw on that heritage to evolve the classics and create new snacks for you to enjoy. Now, I'm only just really noticed that, so I don't know if they're telling you about the history of Tesco, the supermarket, or if they are, um, or maybe they um, are talking about maybe a company which makes, um, these on behalf of Tesco's, I don't know, Tesco. Look, this is an official Tesco brand. I'm not even trying to hide it, sometimes um, Tesco created their own rival um, budget brands. So, um, you, you buy things that say things like Ms. Molly or something and you look on the back and it's got the word Tesco so you know that it's really a Tesco brand that they made up to try and compete with um, some budget shops, budget supermarkets, which um, is real brands that nobody's ever heard of. And, uh, although they will have done now because they're in a budget brand shop, but that's another matter, you know, like, um, if you go into shops like Alberti, traditionally, which is a German supermarket, I had a lot of budget brands in there, which may be known in um, Germany, but were completely unheard of over here, you know? Often doing cloned versions of um, what some more expensive brands were doing, okay, but for less money and also not tasting quite as good, but you get what you pay for. There you go. Um... Me showing you eating a packet of glorified crisps for 13 minutes is 14 minutes sounds ridiculous, I think. But there you go. Let's egg. Easter, and it's Easter Sunday today, um, and If you don't believe me today, um, the Archbishop of Canterbury, that's the, um, ch basically the head of the, the most senior, um, church employee in simple terms, um, in the Church of England, he's the, um, main one. 
there's only one person above him and that's the queen but the queen does not give religious services she does not you know come into church and tell people you know all about that jesus generally and that sort of thing um so he is the most senior, what I would call, true member of the Church of England, and the Queen is officially in charge, but not on a day to day basis, and her role is more ceremonial in reality. And, and as I said, he was talking about how he doesn't think um, the British government could send refugees to Rwanda. And I couldn't possibly have known that any other year or until extremely recently. So, there you go. I'm nearly finished now, I've nearly finished the packet, so... So... There you go. In my view... They taste like extremely salty um, sea salt crisps. That's how they taste to me. But um, so, but maybe I'm wrong. I did not notice any paprika. Um, I didn't notice any tapioca flavour. The uh, claim is, but I didn't notice it truthfully. Um, maybe it's me. Um, but there you go. Also. Here they have the, um, what is known as the traffic lights, um, food information. It tells you about the food nutrition. Um, green means it's good for you, red means it's not good for you, and yellow means it's, um, average, generally. Um, it's neither, so for example... It claims it's got it's red for for fat, which is 5.4 grams, which means it's got um, quite a lot of fat in this, um, and the salt it's um, and the sugars is 0.2 grams. It means this is very good in terms of sugar. In other words, it's got not too much sugar, and this is a system we have in Britain, what we call the traffic light system of um, food nutrition, and people are meant to use this to know how good the food is for them generally not in terms of whether it's off or whether you'll be rushed to hospital or anything silly like that but just in terms of you know not having too much fat or not having you know too much salt over you know the day and things like that so there you go guys i've now finished it tesco bunny bites Yes, I know, 18 minutes from watching me eat a packet of crisps, essentially. Well, it's essentially crisps. It's ridiculous. But, um, there you go. They are slightly more crunchy than crisps, so they're not quite, like I said, they're more like quavers or these sort of soft, puffy type crisps, what I call them, rather than your typical crisp type crisps, okay? So they're more sort of puffy and um, light rather than the... I know there's a proper term for it, and I couldn't tell what it is off the top of my head so you know what i'm talking about okay if people had quavers over here or like sort of puffy crisps you'll know exactly what i'm talking about okay anyway guys thanks for watching bye